Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are planting the very first thing in the garden space in 2023, which is going to be the onions. It's actually only a few days since I last spoke to you, but we're no longer getting that random cold spell that I've been mentioning. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these planted today. I am just a few days past like my six weeks before my average last frost. So we're sitting at that six week mark and onions like to be planted in that six to four week before your average last frost window. So we are going to be doing that today. I'm really excited because my starts look so much better than they have previous years. I actually went back to last year's footage just to see when I actually planted them and what my starts looked like. And I planted them at that four week window, which I have done the last two years. This will be my third year planting onions. But the one thing that's really, really different is how my onion starts look this year. By far, these are my best onion starts from seeds yet. And I can't believe how different they look from last year. So this gives me good hope going into this next year here. So I am going to be planting a lot of onions here in this bed and then off the sides of these other ones and I do need to get that prep so let's go ahead and jump into that because planting onions is a very tedious process and it's already like three in the afternoon so actually before we jump in I just want to show you guys how amazing the garlic is currently looking so far this year it is doing phenomenal we've actually had such nice weather this last week that we went ahead and took the plastic off of the girls coop too which honestly they couldn't be more excited which I mean if I was a chicken I would be excited because they haven't been able to look at anything minus the inside of their coop for like three or four months now but then I also have all of my onion chives popping up and then the yarrow is growing back my strawberries are starting to grow back which I will be maintaining my strawberry bed also very very soon um but yeah there's just a lot going on out of nowhere I even just saw my first dandelion so I'm gonna start by just raking off all of the old mulch to expose the dirt then I'm gonna lay down some of this bud and bloom fertilizer last night when I was reading like to prep beds because I haven't got my soil test back yet and I knew this was going to be an iffy thing before getting the onions but when I read it stated to do two lower numbers to a higher number and this is what I have and it says it works great for this and I'm gonna throw that in with a little bit of worm castings just to prep it for now so before I add anything I'm just going to loosen up the soil a little bit kind of like broad forking without the broad fork just using like a typical garden fork I want a broad fork though I just see a bad bug though and I really thought I haven't found a single grub yet and I just found one so I had an issue with grubs a few years back and I sprayed a lot of beneficial nematodes look at that little baby good thing now though is I have chickens and I can just get revenge and everyone I find I can give to the chickens Here. Here. You guys may have actually heard me talk about this a few times now, but last year I actually stopped spraying like all organic pesticides in my garden, even including neem oil. And I had as insane, amazing populations of great bugs, like good bugs. But the one thing I did was I did a lot of hand picking like I just did. Anytime I saw anything that was bad, I typically just fed it to the chickens, which was really nice. Uh, previous to that, I would just get like a soapy bucket, which I had to do that a lot with squash bugs. But even then I felt like it really wasn't that much of a time difference when it came to picking bugs off versus how often I had to spray the garden with those organic pesticides. And honestly, I just, I would rather use nothing if I could. That's a black, you is that black cow or something? No, I didn't top anything. This is like flooded with worms. Soil. So before I get to planting, I wanna show you guys what these are looking like up close. So I soil blocked my first year, but last year I did the cram method where you just sprinkle a bunch of onion seedlings and they are just like in little pots. And I still trimmed them multiple times, but they were still really flimsy. The one thing I think that made the huge difference is with these soil blocks, the roots never got any type of root bound and you can see they just continue to grow where they want to grow and then I also didn't have like a bunch of seedlings in one I have like two to three per block and I will separate these out as I plant but it was just I feel like these are just like twice as thick at the base which will make a huge difference when it comes to wind and all like spring weather conditions 
With these onions, my plan is to plant them out one inch deep. You don't want to plant them too deep or you will affect the bulb growth when it goes to that bulb like developing stage. Then I'm also going to plant them about eight to nine inches apart. Planting onions is a very tedious process, just like garlic, but I always find it worth it. And then I'm just going to slowly work the roots with my fingers here and separate them out. Onions do have some pretty wiry roots where you won't affect them much, but it's still a plant, so be careful. And then I'm just going to make sure the roots can go down. The head is nowhere above that inch spacing. I'm going to cover it with dirt very gently. All right, and just like that, onions are planted. I have to say, this was definitely the easiest onion planting I've ever had. Having a little bit thicker of a start really made all the difference. I'm really excited to see how this year with onions will go, especially because this is the year I was able to actually plant a little bit earlier and my starts look so much better. So I'm hoping that this will be the year I get some really big, big onions. I have gotten pretty close in the past. I'm over here picking weeds. I have gotten pretty close in the past, but I haven't got the onion I fully desire yet. So maybe this is the year. But either way, guys, I wanted to keep you in real time. So this video was uploaded a little bit earlier than it typically would. So my next upload might be just a little bit later. Either way, I wanted to keep you guys in the loop when it came to when I was planting things. So that's why everything was uploaded this week early. But I will see you guys all in my next upload. Bye.